Hey everyone, so today I want to think a little bit about why in some decks the strength number 8 and the justice number 11 are switched so that justice is 8 and strength is 11. So this actually ties in very well with the fool's journey because the fool's journey traditionally is separated into three lines, each has seven cards and the fool goes through all of these experiences. The first line going from one through seven goes from the magician to the chariot. And the chariot is all about victory, about reaching what you wanted to reach, getting your will basically. But then the switch occurs to the second path or the second line. You go from the outer path of just caring about maybe money or your job or just being focused on growing up honestly, learning your role in society and how to treat others. All of this is followed by a more reflective state in the second path, which reaches from card number eight, which is either strength or justice, to card 14, which is temperance. So in order to understand why they are sometimes switched, you need to understand the second line as a whole. The second line um, starts off with the realization that your ego that has made you or driven you to follow certain paths in your life, for example, earning as much money as you can or getting a great job, getting a great house, um, that this ego has something more in it. There's something underlying in your psyche that makes you want these things. So you basically reflect on your desires and on your own will. Like, why are you doing these things? The first line is about what you're doing and the second line is about why you're doing these things on a very, very deep psychological level. For example, to get the respect of your father or because you never got over being poor as a child or um, your siblings maltreated you so you always have to force yourself onto other people and show that you're dominant. All of these um, are possible causes for your actions and exploring these causes is what the second line is all about. The question is where is this moment of the ego crumbling happening. If card number eight is strength, then this crumbling of the ego occurs as you face your inner fears or any baggage that you have from the past, which is um, personified by the lion. The lion is basically your will that kind of uncontrollable thing inside of you that you don't know well enough to know whether it's going to attack or retreat and you just don't quite know what's going on inside of you and that's what this lion stands for traditionally and learning to tame this lion and to converse this lion who stands for your underlying desires and um, wishes and their actual motivation, that's where card number eight as strength takes its meaning from. Now, if card number eight is justice, it's more about putting everything in your life on a scale figuratively and figuring out what you actually want in your life and what you can cut away. That's what the sword is for. So, it's more a process. It's not so much the realization that your wishes and desires come from somewhere deeper as strength represents, but it's more about, I think, realizing that there's things around you that you don't want around you. You can't quite tell yet why, but you feel like you don't need them anymore. Maybe you suddenly realize you don't need all the money that you saved up so diligently, or you don't need a huge car or an expensive house. And that's more what justice is about. You cut away the parts that you don't need 
and reevaluate what people and what things you want in your life. And you kind of go from there into the deeper reflection of why did I even accumulate all these things? Both justice and strength have this element to them that is like a spark of understanding something suddenly. Maybe it's worth it for you to think about how you came onto the inner path from the outer path. Was it more by looking at your own desires and realizing, wait, why am I doing this? Or was it more looking at the outside world, seeing everything around you and saying, wait, why do I have all of this? Why is all of this around me? You know? So yeah, I think with justice, you get to the point of the crumbling ego by looking at the outside world and with strength, you get to that point by looking at your inner working. And both are awesome and great ways to start off the second line of the Major Arcana. So, yeah. <laughs> I hope this explanation helped you. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it because, of course, this isn't, this is just what I came up with. But, um, yeah, maybe you have some different thoughts about it or some suggestions. Let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.